Hey everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood sax man Alex here. If you're new here, check out my Get to Know Me video. Over the years, I've listened to a plethora of different songs ranging from different genres, whether it be salsa, jazz, hip-hop, classical music, you name it. And they've influenced the way I play the saxophone, specifically in the music that I like to play, which is jazz, Colombian music, and other Latin music. As a saxophonist and as a wind player, this is huge in terms of what you want your sound to be. It's one thing to listen to the music that you really like, but it's another thing for it to influence the essence of your sax sound. Growing up in a Colombian family, I was immersed with so much Latin music, whether it be a Colombian pasillo, a Colombian porro, a cumbia, salsa from all different parts of the world. I listened to it all. Today I want to show you four specific songs of four different genres that influence my modern day sax playing. Number one. The first song that I wanted to show you is this salsa group called La Sonora Ponceña. This group is a combination of Puerto Rican and New York Puerto Rican musicians that fused jazz harmonic concepts and created a really, really nice sound with this really nice band. In this song, the famous Celia Cruz sings the melody. And when I was young, I had no idea about harmony. I had no idea about theory. I was just starting the piano at four, so I had no idea how to do it. But I was dancing to it. I love the, the progressions that were played and I love the way that the verse went into the chorus and everything, every single little thing about it was something that I love. The biggest thing that influenced my playing was the way that Celia Cruz sang the melody. When she would sing about the huracan and the way that it would blow her away figuratively with love. It was so beautiful and the notes that she chose were so beautiful that I, that it always comes out in my playing. No matter what it may be, it could be a ballad, it could be darn that dream, but it always comes out. I always remember that melody, it sticks in my head forever. Number two, moving from salsa, my father has a huge LP collection and that was where I got the influence. The song that I wanted to show you today was Beethoven's Seventh Symphony. Whenever my father would bring out Beethoven 7, I would just doze off within the melodies and the sub counter melodies that were inside each instrument's role. What influenced me there is again a little bit of the harmony, but the melodies themselves I thought were very, very captivating. Yet again, would influence how I would play over a tune or improvising over a tune. Number three, from there, we move a little bit more modern in terms of music. When I was in middle school, a lot of my friends at my middle school would show me different types of music, specifically hip hop at the time. I would listen to Tupac, Big Smalls, and a Tribe Called Quest. And I fell in love with a Tribe Called Quest. One song in particular got me hooked. The song is called Bonita Applebaum. That's the song that you just heard? Yeah, that was the one that like, this is it, this is the band that I want to listen to. As soon as I started listening to the samples that they used and the way they sequenced the drums, I was hooked. The way they used the harmony and the samples was so cool. And the way Q-Tip rapped rhythmically was amazing. And of course, Fife Dog as well. Now I know you're probably thinking, what would a Colombian guy be doing listening to hip hop? Well, it was just by chance. I'm very open to listening to new genres of music and a friend introduced me to a Tribe Called Quest. Number four. The first instant of me listening to jazz was actually on a plane going from Colombia back to Florida when I was super, super young. At that time, I had no idea about different genres. All I really knew was salsa and traditional Colombian music. So listening to jazz blew my mind. But when I was putting on my headphones back in the day, those really big, bulky headphones that they would give you on the plane, I tuned into a channel on the radio of the plane and it happened to be a jazz channel. And I was like, okay. Let me give it a chance. And in comes in, Bill Evans, Waltz for Debbie. My first time listening for Waltz for Debbie blew me away. First off, it calmed me down because I was scared out of my mind being 34,000 feet in the air in the middle of the Atlantic going from Columbia to Florida, which is understandable. I was about five years old at the time. I had no idea that anything could be above 10 feet. I could barely even jump that high, let alone going 34,000 feet. But, Waltz for Debbie calmed me down a little bit. I would hum the 251 whenever it came in the song. I would love the way Bill Evans would solo, the way he would do it rhythmically and harmonically, and it got me really, really focused in the band, too. His interaction with the bass player and the drummer was superb, 
And I try to do that today with my sax playing. The way he influenced me was just the way the time feel was. It was kind of a variation of swing, but in a kind of even way, the way the cool school plays. Of course, translating from piano to sax is a totally different thing, but it offers really cool differences and it offers a unique way of playing the sax. I hope you enjoy these four songs. There are many, many more songs out there that influence my sax playing, but I think these are one of the four biggest songs that really made a difference for me. Leave a comment down below what songs influenced you, what songs were really, really memorable in your childhood. Thank you for watching the video, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram for more beats, standards, and ballads. Stay sexy. My skin is great because of you, Hiram. Thank you. The thing, the, the biggest thing that influenced my playing was the way Celia Cruz sung. Sang? 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 I was listening to Tupac, sax playing. Really? I don't. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs>